Hey guys, how are you today? So if you're watching this, I'm already in Las Vegas with some art friends on sort of a mini art retreat. And I want to bring them all a little gift. So I thought I'd make some little sort of junk journals. One for everybody. I made one for myself too. Out of some just stuff I have laying around the studio and you break out my Zed or bind it all because you know I've got it. I should probably use it. Let me bind this last one. Oops. Those of you who don't know what a Zutter is, it's a binding machine. It does a spiral metal ring bound type of binding. There you go. So you thread everything through like that. And I'm going to put it in this end. it up together. And then I always fiddle with the rings a little bit. Make sure it bent them good and closed. Yeah, that's good. All right. There we go. So we've got four journals. And I want to, um, let's see. All right. So I used bits and pieces of cardboard, some mini file folders I found on clearance, some different things I had that I kind of was hoarding. Um, they each have a little bit different stuff in them. Envelopes and different things. I want to put some of these tags in here. And I've got these cute little, um, playing cards. I, they're from a kid's game. So I think I want to put some of those in in one of them. Alright, so I want to... This one's going to be mine, so let's put that one aside for a minute. So in theirs, I put some of my um, scrap watercolor paper stamping kind of experiment cards. I didn't put that in mine because, you know, I could just paint something I don't need that in mind. Um, I want to put, there's a pocket in the back here. There we go. Is it big enough for a tag? It is big enough for a tag. Okay, I want to put a tag in there. They each have one of those. There's another tag. All right, so this one has one too. Oh, see, I missed two pieces of paper. I'm going to have to fix that. There's a way around that. So that's the only problem with doing it this way. Is sometimes you miss paper when you're in a hurry. All right. It's not the first time I've done that. It won't be the last time I've done that. So I'm going to cut a little slit up to the binding hole on both of these. plastic one in first and then put the card in. There we go. All fixed. Haha. -ha. Alright. That's do I want to put a colored one? Or do I want to put I think I want to put that one. I'm gonna get this purple one here. Alright, what else do we have in here? I've got some paper clips. I've got like a million paper clips. I've got some of these that are turquoise. Of course they are. Alright, so let's go back to the beginning. And like right here, let's paper clip in something else. Maybe a couple of somethings. Yep, 
I like that. All right, let's do that to the other ones. Where did I do that? I did that on here. All right. I forget what I'm doing, people. I made these the other day when my stamps came in. Okay, one more. And I think the birthday girl is going to get a set of stamps for free. I know there's a particular one that she wants. So I think that she's going to get them for her birthday. I think I want to put the birds. Okay, I have mine, and I think I'm going to put this tag in my pocket. And I have extra pockets in mine because I was given library pockets and stuff in Happy Mail. So I wanted to use some of them to put some things in. in mine? I don't think so. No, just a couple of envelopes. Okay, so that'll work. Um, I have these three things I want to stick in here. I might want to staple them in. Let's see where they should go, shall we? We're going to just kind of flip through until I get like, I think one of them needs to go here. And I do want to staple that. I use my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. There we go. And that's just like leftover packaging. Each one of these is different. No, two, They're not exactly the same. They're similar. Let's put one here. These paper clips back in their tube. Do I want to put anything else in here? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm going to make some little packets of ephemera bits for them. And, of course, like I said, the birthday girl is going to get a set of stamps for her birthday. And I think that's it. I got a few extra tags, which is good because I need to make some happy mail. So I could use these. And I think that's good. So we've got cardboard on the outside and chipboard on the back. They have this pretty corrugated cardboard in theirs. I didn't have enough to do mine, but I had this chipboard that had the um, scalloped edge. And then I put a piece of the watercolor paper, some kind of tag or packaging, a piece of paper. I put a few of these transparencies in, two of them in each journal. They all say something different. There's a couple of envelopes in each journal. Some of this like card stock that's got lines and um, some of it's got um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. like graph paper on it. Postcards. Some of those are from Happy Mail. Playing cards. I don't know what this is. I picked it up at uh, Art Salvage Place, but it's an interesting little piece of paper. Some craft card stock. More packaging. This is another um, game card from an art game, an art trivia game. There's the graph paper. 
and uh, an env another envelope, different kind. There's a few of these mini file folders in each one. There's a regular envelope and another mini file folder. And they're all very similar, very quick and easy to put together. Um, plus bonus, you use up some of that, those scraps and things you have laying around your you know, studio space. Um, and all of your mixed media friends are going to love a good you know, junk journal. And you can give them a little pack of... Um, you know, ephemera bits and pieces to go along with it, and I think they would love that. So it's just one idea for something you can do. I will see you all later. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye.